guys, so today I'm going to be talking about something I kind of hesitated to talk about, only because I'm not sure how it is with you guys, but if I try to start some sort of like diet or workout routine, I bomb it like within a week, so I was a little bit hesitant to post it out there. But on the flip side, maybe the accountability will be helpful, and I know that this is a really rich community with a lot of different people doing a lot of different things, so who knows, maybe one of you can help me along my way. Um, but basically, I am going to be starting the Whole30 uh, program, which is a restrictive diet of sorts. Um, the point of this diet is not to lose weight, though that can happen. Um, the point of this diet is to clear your body of many things that can cause chronic pain, sleep issues, mood issues, bowel issues, and skin issues, among other things. Um, it's basically like a reset button for your body, and when I first heard about it, I was like, there is no way I'm ever going to do this, because it is a little bit, a little bit, a lot a bit on the restrictive side. Um, for instance, no sugar, no dairy, no grains of any kind, that includes rice um, and corn, and also no beans, which is an interesting one. So it is really restrictive, but these things can be inflammatory and aid them, like lend themselves to those sleep issues and pain and all that sort of stuff. So the reason I'm doing this is because I do struggle with... Um, food addiction and that's something that I've struggled with for a long time so I need something to kind of like detox my body from all the things that I can't get enough of. Um, but also I have skin conditions. I have two skin conditions. I have cystic acne as evidenced by my face right now. Um, now I believe my cystic acne is mostly hormonal. I had it during my teen years, during pregnancy and breastfeeding, and then it's coming back now again because I'm on birth control. So I think that's more to do with it, but who knows, this might really help. The skin condition I want um, hopefully to, you know, have helped by this uh, Whole30 program is psoriasis, and I have mild psoriasis. It's on my knees and my elbows. I'll show you real quick what it looks like. Um, that's what it looks like. Um, but it's also popping up in other places. Like I have like teeny tiny little spots, like on my ankle, on my arm, um, even on my eye. There's like a small, like rough patch, which, I, which I'm afraid is psoriasis, just waiting to take over my face, and I don't want that. Um, but those things are really. Uh, urged on by inflammatory foods, which tends to be gluten, dairy, and sugar. Um, the thing is, I don't know what combination of those things I'm sensitive to, so cutting them all out at first might be what my body needs. So a lot of people find this to be a really effective way to reset their body. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that it takes care of especially the psoriasis issue. Um, and I'm really curious to see how it goes. I am nervous because, again, it's drastic change for me. Um, but I'm excited not only for that, but to reinforce to my son what healthy eating means. Um, lately, we haven't been good. I would say I was doing really good, like, spring, summer, but once um, once that school semester started, my priorities shifted quite quite a lot. Uh, so in the next few weeks, I will be doing, I'm actually starting next week, the beginning of next week, um, so I will do a pantry purge and a Whole30 food haul for you guys, um, but we also have other interesting videos coming up really soon. Sierra, you're pregnant. Congratulations. If you are curious about her pregnancy, she's going to be doing, I believe this weekend, a uh, first trimester catch you up kind of video. Um, and then next week, I'm actually going to be doing an interview with my friend Chris about circumcision as a circumcised man. So if you're curious about either of those videos or want to follow along this uh, this next 30 days of ah, no sugar, how am I going to even survive? Um, I urge you to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.